professional illustrator and designer. My illustrations and paintings can be found on packaging, Christmas cards, stationery, greeting cards, children's books, different types of fabric, and home decor. But I haven't always been an illustrator. When I first started out in college or even in high school, I tried to draw, I'd get frustrated. I would draw, I would erase, I would throw it away. I would get, I had all this fear that I needed to put it down on the paper. It had to be perfect the first time. And that's not really the way it works. You've got to practice, practice, practice. I had a college professor say, go get a sketchbook and fill the sketchbook up with drawings, the front and back before the end of the semester. He said, I don't care what you draw, draw anything. And here are some of the first doodles I ever did. I loved animals and I would scribble and draw these cute little animals. And because he disciplined me to draw every day, fill up the sketchbook by the end of the semester, I am a better illustrator today because of him and I thank him so much. What we're doing in this class is we are going to practice by doodling and we're also going to do some watercolor because I believe that those are the first steps in really becoming an illustrator is drawing and then painting with watercolor is so easy and inexpensive. That's a great way to get started. We're going to create three drip paintings for three different styles. The next thing we're going to do is add all of the doodles that we've already practiced and kind of zentangle up your painting. The second watercolor that we are doing, we're going to add our drawings, not with a black pen like before, but we are going to do it with a resist pen so everything that we draw in the end will come out white. Then the last drip painting we are going to create the Zentangle or the Doodles with our brush instead of the black pen or the resist pen just to give us practice painting with a brush because a brush is going to be completely different than a pen. We're also going to talk about mixing paint and applying the watercolor onto your paintings. I also have a section all about watercolor and paper and things that are less expensive than other things, how to get started with inexpensive supplies. So one of the traditions in my family is that we use cloth napkins. Every time I go on a trip, I try to pick up a new cloth napkin. I love cloth napkins that have all these patterns on them. You know for a fact that that was a doodle in the beginning. Even though these are not my illustrations, here are a few other examples of products that started out as a doodle. Even these containers from Starbucks. One last thing, I have provided time-lapse videos of my projects just in case you want to see the whole thing. So what do you think? Does this sound like a fun class to you? Well, come on over to Teachable. There's a link in the description below that will take you right to the class and all my other classes. I can't wait to see your project and I'll see you in the next video.